And now, the general weather around Alaska. Winter storm warning remains out uh, through tonight here for the central interior, Koyukuk Valley down in toward uh, Tanana for an additional two to four inches of snow in that area. And a winter weather advisory for snow remains out here for the uh, Susitna Valley uh, for tonight as well. And that's uh, mainly, that is north of Talkeetna for an additional, let's see, uh, six to 14 inches of snow. And looking at the satellite imagery, here's the cloudiness associated with the snow I mentioned here in the central interior, slowly moving eastward here. Pretty dry south of the Alaska Range, or actually in this northern Cook Inlet area, down into the Kenai Peninsula, just some shower activity. Dry for the Copper River Basin in most areas there, even though it's cloudy due to southerly winds blowing off the coast range there. And pretty mild conditions here in the upper 30s, lower 40s for temperatures today and this morning in some locations. And moisture spreading some rain into the southern panhandle. Out to the west, uh, just a lot of uh, cold air coming southward into the Bering Sea here, then sweeping southeastward there across the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, some snow shower activity. And uh, clouds from the next system way out there in the Russian Far East, but uh, really not going to amount to too much for the next, at least through the early part of the weekend. And on the chart today, here's this low center tracking slowly eastward here into the interior, bringing a widespread area of light snow, mainly to the central and western part of the state, starting to dry out here over the western areas with colder northwest winds blowing in as well. And uh, colder temperatures, but drier conditions pushing into Kodiak Island, few snow showers there. Snow showers over the Alaska Peninsula, eastern Aleutians, but not too bad here over the Bering Sea today. Some shower activity over the Adak Atka area to Shimia. And then this frontal zone here, bringing some moisture northeastward into the southern southeast coast. For tonight, this low here will slowly move northeastward there and the associated warm front will spread another round of uh, heavier rain into the southern pan panhandle with lighter amounts up to the north. Showers of rain or snow along the North Gulf Coast, but snow showers here as that low develops and then slowly moves eastward here across uh, south central Alaska. But drier, colder conditions finally moving into, or, or drier conditions finally moving into the Kuskokwim Valley and wind slowly diminishing and mostly dry conditions, maybe some clearing here for the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta and uh, dry up into the Koyuk or the Kobuk Valley. Still some uh, light snow going, especially this evening over the Koyukuk Valley there all the way over toward the eastern border, northward to the Alaska, or to the Alaska, <laughs> northward to the Arctic coast there, the north coast of Alaska, and uh, some snow showers here lingering along the southwest coast, pretty light in this area now from St. Lawrence Island to Nunavak Island, Makoriak, and those areas down to the Alaska Peninsula. As you can see, not much of a gradient here, so those winds really coming down. And then tomorrow, this low slowly moving northward, periods of rain here, with the gusty winds on the southern, down toward the southern southeast coast there, could hit 35, maybe 40 miles an hour in those normally windier areas, but lighter winds up to the north, with rain all the way up into Juneau, Haines, Skagway, and a uh, mixture of precipitation into White Pass. This low drops into the Gulf of Alaska, not all that strong, but that'll produce some snow showers here from the North Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound area, across the eastern interior to the eastern Arctic coast, lingering light snow showers along the western Alaska range, dry for uh, South Central Alaska, and maybe some clearing there for Bristol Bay, definitely clearing for Kodiak Island, and uh, chance of uh, light snow shower activity here right along the West Coast areas. Otherwise, wind's pretty light there. This week, low St. Lawrence Island produce uh, periods of light snow there, and a couple of troughs out over the Bering Sea will result in kind of a widespread area of snow showers there continuing, but winds will be light. Even lighter amounts of precipitation down along the Aleutians with uh, light variable winds there. And then for Saturday, high pressure out here, it's just south of the west central Aleutians, produces light winds, maybe some sunny, clear skies into the Bering Sea. High pressure over the interior now, colder temperatures, dry conditions, winds not too bad at all. Kodiak Island up into south central Alaska, pretty good clearing in the forecast, all the way up in toward the uh, north slope areas, at least on the east side. Southwest flow with a trough over the Chuck TC keeps the chance of snow showers going there. Southern slopes of the Brooks Range down into the northwest coast, maybe Kotzebue, Shishmaref, up along the western Arctic coast. 
Still a chance of some light snow shower activity there for Norton Sound to St. Lawrence Island area. And for the southeast coast, that low finally tracking really slow here. You can see just getting into Canada by Saturday afternoon. So the rain will become more showery, tend to uh, diminish with snow at the higher elevations in the north. Still a chance of snow showers for uh, Yakutat, but Cordova basically dry, definitely dry for Prince William Sound with this drier, cooler northeast wind flow coming in to that area. And for the lows tonight, topper 30s, lower 40s for the southeast coast, five below to five above for the Brooks Range North Slope and five to 10 above for the Arctic coast, down to about five to 15 west of the Alaska Range, temperatures falling into the teens to lower 20s here for south central Alaska, mid 20s, Kodiak Island, about 15 for Bristol Bay, and 20s to lower 30s out here for the Aleutians, mid 20s for the Pribilof Islands. Highs tomorrow in the 20s, South Central Alaska, really all of Southern Alaska here, except some areas in the upper teens over the Southwest interior, 10 to 15 Central interior and zero to five or zero to 10 for the Arctic coast, mid teens, but zero to 10 here for the uh, Brooks Range area, upper 30s for the Pribilofs and 35 to 40 for the Aleutians and 45 to 50 over the southern southeast coast. Lows the following morning, finally some below zeros showing up here. Uh, five to 15 below there for the Brooks Range and anywhere from zero to 15 below in the northern valleys here. Zero to uh, 10 below for the Tanana Valley, Susitna Valley, zero to five below. Single numbers all the way down in the Kenai Peninsula, 15 for the low for Homer. And uh, even pretty chilly with below zero temperatures, of course, in the Cusquam Valley, becoming milder out toward the southwest coast. And that'll be followed by highs here. Low below zero for the Brooks Range. Highs uh, zero to five for the eastern interior. Much milder out here to the west near freezing for the south, for the coastal areas here, upper 30s for the Primlofs. And temperatures staying in the 40s for highs along the Panhandle. And the one, month temp the one month temperature outlook here for December showing uh, really right around what you expect for normal for December here over the central and southeast part of the state. And then a little above for the Panhandle and above up there for the Arctic Coast North Slope to the Seward Peninsula. Then the three month outlook, January, February and December, uh, pretty much on the plus side of normal for all of Alaska.